Today we're going to be doing a very, very cool unboxing. This is the Samsung SyncMaster MD230X3. They should just call it like the Goliath or something because that would be a lot easier to remember and it would also be a lot more descriptive. I mean, look at the size of the box. This is a monitor. It's so heavy. The only way to get it here into this room was to take it on that cart. And the only way to get it up on the table is by humiliating myself by trying to lift something. That's clearly oh, way too heavy for me. Okay, there we go. So what this is, is it is three monitors in one. I'm gonna let that sink in for a minute while I try to figure out how to get this out of the box. Look at this, it actually has clamps on the box. Like, like, you know, like don't make me give you the clamps, like those kinds of clamps. No, it's not that kind of clamps. But I have two more on the other side here. So I'm just removing those because there's actually, and I could tell this when I lifted it up, there's actually a, a box that slides over top. Okay, so that is all packed with foam and uh, there's some kind of documentation here which we'll probably need, all right? So this is gonna, this is gonna be a long unboxing. Just brace yourselves, guys, because uh, it's a bit of an adventure. I've never unboxed three monitors in one box before. So it's a challenge, but I like an unboxing challenge. I've also never encountered clamps on a box before. So here we are. What's this? We got limited warranty, which is three years parts, three years labor. You can either carry it in or ship it in. They will not pick it up from you, which is pretty much standard. We have an assembly guide and it's like, wow, it's actually pretty hardcore. Oh no, it's okay because it has like 16 different languages. So the English is the first line. But let's actually see how, how many steps there are. So there's at least five, seven, nine. Oh no, okay, so this is only if, uh, if it's two by three. Oh, two by three, okay, hold on. So we have one by three, here we are. So one by three pivot. So that, oh no, we're not doing that either. Oh, okay, cool, so you can put it. That is the way I would use it, that's legit. Um, but you can also do one by three non-pivot. So there's 11 steps involved in that one. So you can put it together a few different ways. All right, last but not least, we have a uh, warranty statement thing again. Okay, and then we have a disc, which has their Magic Eye software, Magic, oh no, Magic Bright, Magic Tune, and that is all we really need to know about that. Okay, so let's put that out of the way, and then let's keep going with the unboxing. So here's a box. Pretty substantial. Got some, uh, got some heavy stuff in there. So let's pull out the knife again. Break some more seals because that's what I do. Oh, I missed. Nice. Wow. So you know most monitors, yeah, they got you know they got included cable, right? Yeah, you know, got included power cord. This one comes with one, two, three standard computer power cables. All right. It comes with. One, two computer power cable extension cords. It comes with, I'll figure those out later. It comes with at least one display port cable. It comes, okay, it comes with one display port cable, two single link DVI, so that is standard DVI cables, uh, one USB cable, Another USB cable, so that is two USB cables. Uh, a, what appears to be, remote. All right, so this is a remote for controlling uh, something about the monitors. I saw this mentioned on the Samsung site, but I'm definitely gonna have to show you guys how this works uh, outside of the unboxing, but it looks like there's no on-screen display because you've got things like brightness and contrast controls right here on this little remote. It connects via USB, so I'm not really sure where it plugs into, but we'll figure that out later. Okay, and then we've got, uh, these look like, they almost look like magnets. I don't know if I have anything metal to try this on. Nope, they're not magnets. Okay, well, we'll figure out what they are later then. 
All right, but we have a few of them. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them. Okay. That's cool. I'm down. Then we have uh, whatever these are. These look like some kind of a bracket. Don't do that with them, evidently. Don't know what that is. So these are these are brackets that... Oh, yeah, there we go. So they go like this. All right, how many of those do we have? We have one, two, three, four. We have four of those. Okay. And then we have lots of screws. So these are the A screws. And we have B screws. All right, that is the hardware. Oh, no, last but not least, we oh, we have some cable management stuff, which is great because we have a lot of cables. All right, so that's, that's the accessories. You know what, we'll actually just kind of, we'll throw all this back in here to keep it out of the way while we have a look at the monitor itself. Okay, next we have LCD panels galore. So we have three panels. First one is here. So let's go ahead and uh, from the pictures I've seen of these, they actually look more like, like a professional LCD panel than like a monitor. Like based on the, like look at, look at the industrial design on the back. Like these are just like hardcore. So you've got what appears to be uh, Visa compatible that looks like, what is it, 100 by 100 uh, on the back might be 75 by 75, can't tell. And then you've got four additional mounting holes here. You've also got like sort of like random screws and stuff. You've got a lot more uh, labeled screw holes all over the back of the monitor. All right. Uh, also on the back of the monitor, we have some ventilation holes here at the top. That's where all of the electronics are inside. And then at the bottom, we will find all of our input options. So here's one of the, here, actually, I don't want to put this down directly on the table. So I'm just going to pick that back up. Okay. Wow. So here are the interfaces at the bottom of the monitor. So we have VGA. Please don't use that. Please, please do not buy a $2,000 monitor setup and plug it in via VGA, please. Okay. Then we have DVI. Display port. So either of these are going to be perfectly legitimate options. And so the reason they've included two DVI cables and one display port cable is because, as you may or may not have guessed by now, this is really intended for use with AMD's iFinity technology. So that means you can plug in two of the monitors via DVI, and the third one will have to be display port since they are display port ready. That's awesome. It's perfect for iFinity. Next, you've got USB. So this one says, oh, this is interesting. So you've got two USBs here. One of them is control out and the other one is control in. I'm going to go ahead and guess that's something to do with that remote control thing that we saw. This is a monitor selection button. So we'll have to figure out what that does too. And next we have a power input as well as a power switch. And this is good because I called those extension cords, but because this has a power out that's shaped like a power, uh, like a PC power cord, like a, um, I guess, what would that be? Female, like a female PC power cord. You can actually just daisy chain one monitor over to the next one in order to make things as tidy as possible. But we haven't even gotten to the part of this thing that is so cool. Check out how thin the bezel is on this monitor. So I don't remember the specs. Uh, I did read them before I started, but I did assume that I would forget them and I brought myself a handy dandy tape measure in order to measure them for you guys. So the bottom bezel is, let's see, that's half an inch. So that's, wow, that's like just over a quarter of an inch. So whatever, whatever that unit is, I think those are sixteenths. So like five sixteenths of an inch on the bottom. On the top, it looks like just a little bit bigger. Yeah, so that looks like about six sixteenths. Okay, so hold on, you got one, two, three, four, five. That's five. Either way, okay, you know what? You guys can figure this out. You're really smart. I'm holding the tape measure up for you. You can always look it up on the Samsung website. Now let's look at the side bezels, which are even thinner because that's the most critical one because that is where you're going to be able to reduce the amount of bezel blocking your images when you're running in AMD iFinity. So when you put these next to each other, you're actually only going to have, here, we'll grab another one, since we conveniently have three of these monitors packaged together like this. 
All right, so when you're running in infinity mode, you're only gonna have, wow, these are heavy too. The metal casing, uh, the overall yeah, industrial design of them is very, uh, it feels very beefy, unlike most consumer models. That's it. That's all you have in terms of a bezel in between your monitors. So here, the last thing I wanna do for the unboxing, because as I can clearly see, from the 11 step assembly process that uh, is in the user manual. I'm not going to be building this on camera. So the last thing I want to show you guys is the stand it comes with. Look at this thing. Is that a monitor stand or what? So here, we'll put that there. I want to have a look at the overall finish of it because this is the kind of thing that when you buy a monitor that's two grand essentially, you're not buying a monitor. You're buying like a piece of furniture, basically. This has to sit on your desk. It has to look absolutely gorgeous while providing the functionality that you paid for. So let's have a look at how the overall fit and finish of this is going to be. Ooh, that's nice, actually. That's really nice. So they, what they've done is they've, uh, they've put a gorgeous brushed finish on the stand, all right. There's a little bit of dust on it, but don't let that uh, don't let that take away from the experience. Can you see that in the camera? Uh, like the uh, the the brushed lines here. Try and get some different angles so you can see that. It's just wonderful. Looks really really nice. And I just want to have a quick look here at what else we have in terms of uh, of adjustments. It looks like like it almost looks height adjustable but the pressure that I'm putting on it doesn't seem to be doing anything, but I guess we'll figure that out later. Okay, so just so you guys can have a little quick look at the bottom, it's got a bunch of rubber feet on it, so no matter how hard you try, it should be fairly difficult to knock this monitor over. You can see the base is quite wide, even when you compare it to the size of the apparatus that will be connected to it, okay? So it's about uh, the width and change of one of the single monitors. So it's going to come out to about here, looking at me. It's going to come out to about here, and then out to about sort of here, like about my arm span tip to tip is how wide this is going to be. So thank you for checking out. Actually, hold on. Here, let me check the box really quick, and we'll go over the specs somewhat. So Samsung is advertising a 150,000 to 1 dynamic contrast ratio. Okay, these are 23 inch, I don't think I mentioned the resolution. These are 1080p monitors each. So that means that they run at, uh, a, what is it, 5760 I think, by 1080. Uh, or if you're running them in portrait mode, they're gonna be whatever three times 1080 is by uh, 1920. Okay, uh, what else do we have to say about these guys before we wrap this up? I think that is pretty much it. I did want to find out if it had a height adjustable stand. Um, but tell you what, if you guys can find out for me and post it in the comments under... Yes, it's height adjustable. Completely height adjustable. Uh, well, not completely. I mean, 100, uh, 100 millimeters. So 10 centimeters height adjustable. And then also you can... Uh, those hinges that we unboxed before in the accessory package, uh, these guys right here. So what these are for is they actually attach uh, two at each hinge. They attach to the back of the monitors and they allow you to adjust up to a 30 degree angle the outer monitors for your, uh, for your peripheral vision. So you're looking more straight at them instead of having it as like one big long flat panel. So thank you for checking out my unboxing. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more blog videos, unboxings, reviews, and all kinds of good stuff.